<laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> Nicholas Cage has two settings. He's either screaming through a burning building or sleeping while dreaming about screaming through a burning building. <laughs> it's tough to imagine anything that can match the unnecessary intensity of a Nicholas Cage movie performance, but we are told that men's deodorant names come pretty dang close. It's time for Nick Cage flick or deodorant stick. R really? Is it? Can this really fool us? Well, Is this gonna happen? Well, here's what's gonna happen. Stevie's gonna read a name of either a Nick Cage movie, and these include it's, it, most of them are uh, from the '90s. No, not from the '90s. There's over 90 films. There's a lot of films, and some of these went straight to DVD, so you may not know about them, and they could be really weird names. But they sound like, de okay, whatever, all right. You're not there's a lot of crazy deodorant names out there as well. You're not gonna fool me, Nicolas Cage. Ha! <laughs> Give us the first one. We got the paddles here. We're gonna vote. Okay. Rage. Rage. Why would you wanna spread rage under your armpit? Uh, rage deodorant. That's definitely a Nick Cage movie because it rhymes with cage. <laughs> Nick Cage and rage. You're both correct. <laughs> Nicholas Cage stars as a retired mobster who re enters a life of crime when his daughter is abducted in 2014's Rage. Let's 2014. take a look at a very relaxing scene where his character Paul confronts a crime buddy about being a rat. Knock it off! I you talk! I give you a finger gun to your boss so he take care of you and make those guns go away! That's not no, what I'm talking about! It's not what I'm talking about! He's dead! We swore not to talk about it! Good gracious! <laughs> Dang, I know your daughter's missing, but chill out a little bit. <laughs> how, do you, how do you ask him to pull that back as the director? Shove a rage deodorant in his mouth. <laughs> All right, give us another one. Red Rock West. I could see that being a movie name. Uh, and a deodorant. Uh, <laughs> Dang. Uh, I'm sticking with Nick Cage you think on so? this one. Yeah. That's too specific for a deodorant. Yeah, yeah. Red yeah. Rock, yes. Put but that on your own. West? There's, there's rocks that you can use as deodorant. What about the people on the East Coast? They won't buy that. Right. It's not, not like Nick Cage. Both correct. Hey! <laughs> Red Rock West is a 1993 film about an unemployed ex-Marine played by Nicolas Cage who is mistakenly hired as a hitman to murder someone's wife. Do we have another clip? Yes. Your friend, the ranch hand, he's been shot! <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much! <laughs> Is I mean, this what he's famous for? Because I actually, I knew that Nicolas Cage was like, Squirrely, but I didn't know that he was famous for such intensity yeah. all the time. Can we get a, get a little bit more energy on shot? <laughs> Perfect. All right. Wait, See, you haven't roll. fooled me yet. How about Wolfhorn? That's a deodorant. Wolfthorn. I know Wolf who makes. Thorn. I know who makes this. <laughs> Wolfthorn. I have it on right, right now. <laughs> Are you doing that thing where if I vote, <laughs> maybe with you, then you're changing it at the last second? Maybe. Wolfthorn sounds like a cool movie, man. He's wearing like camo pants and like a, a Hawaiian shirt up top. Oh. He's a retired something like military trainer who's now just doing bungee jumping classes okay, in Hawaii so until his daughter is. You're going with Nick Cage, all yeah. right? Wolfthorn. Mm, it's a deodorant. <laughs> yeah. We have it. It's from Old Spice. See. I have worn it. <laughs> not, I wasn't making it up. But what? It's one word. What is a wolf thorn? It smell it. it smells like wolves and thorns. But I, I don't. If you have it, you don't need to smell it. I've been duped <laughs> by by a th by a thing that doesn't exist. A wolf thorn. It's like if you inspect it. Th that's a nipple. It's not a thorn. I think it's a place. Give it's a, a place that it takes you when you put it on. All right. Next. Vampire's Kiss. Vampire's Kiss, I'm sticking with deodorant for this one. Because what? this is what? for teens love <laughs> love this kind of thing. And you know where vampires like to kiss. Mm -hmm. Right, right <laughs> up under, right in the sweet spot. No, this is, um, this is a movie where Nicolas Cage wears camo pants, Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> teaches bungee jumping. Yep. And, but he's a vampire. Yeah, who likes to kiss. Gets in a little randy. All right, what is it? It's
It's a movie. Yes. Oh, it's a classic oh, I'm about this. Nick Cage meltdown movie circa 1988 about a big shot literary agent who thinks he's turning into a vampire. I bet he's upset about it. Yeah, here he is having a super chill existential crisis in front of some mirrors. <gasps> I've become a vampire. <laughs> this is not he he ad libs all this. None of this is written. Oh god. Where <laughs> am I? You can't write You're in that a kind bathroom, of stuff. Nick Cage. You can't write that. You're not a vampire. You're a book agent. It's so like you tell him what am, what's happening in this scene? You're becoming a vampire. Okay. I'm becoming a vampire. <laughs> he just states what's happening. That's the genius in his acting is he he lets the audience know what's going on. Tied up. Give us another one. Jungle man. Jungle Man deodorant. That's a deodorant. Jungle yeah. Man deodorant. That's Put a it deodorant. under your arms and you smell like a twigs. Smell like a twigs. Yep, deodorant. Jungle, jungle Man. Yeah. Why would you want to smell like a jungle? Because it's fresh, man. Jungle smell fresh. Fresh and there's lots of life there. It's vibrant. Petrichor. Yeah, exactly. It's a deodorant. Yeah. There we have it. Oh, uh, yeah. What is this one from? Look at that. I get, I, man. Can, I have the, can I have the top? Well, hold on. Doesn't smell like anything. There's not a whole lot going on there. What? What Pull that this? off. It's natural. Don't, it doesn't smell. Ooh. Ooh, it's really, really subtle. Jungle Man's creeping. <laughs> that means it doesn't work. <laughs> All natural deodorant by Jungle Man Naturals. Yeah, yeah. No aluminum, parabens, or helpfulness. What $8. I, yeah. What I've learned is that you need aluminum and parabens in order for it to work. What? Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, guys, it's a tie, and it comes down to this. Let's not say what we're guessing, so we, there's no cheating on, like, yep, trying yep, to do the same thing. Yep, and yep, what, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Arsenal. Arsenal. Easily a movie. I'm locked in. It's kind of a stretch for that to be a deodorant. I am locked in. The question you have to ask yourself is, do you want to smell like an arsenal? No. It's a movie. Okay. It was a trick question. Say? Because oh. it's both. Both! It's, it's a deodorant and a Nick Cage movie. Um, it's a movie from 2017 where Cage plays a gangster wearing Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka wig. Uh, and there's the deodorant. Here's the deodorant. Look at this. This is, it's got a pin that you pull like a freaking grenade. This is, this is tasteful. Yeah, I like that. And here's the movie clip where Nick Cage's character named Eddie King punches a guy. Hold on. What did he just say? Hold on, hold on. You're telling me, is the character wearing a wig in this scene or is that what he looks like the whole movie? It, it, he looks like that the whole movie, apparently. How, what in the world? We gotta get him on this show. <laughs> you know, he's willing to do that. For like science, he can, just to study him. He can wear a wig like a champ. I wonder if he'd let us di dissect him. Uh, probably not. That'd he'd be cool. let us touch him. Okay, you guys have to split the prize. Which is? Here you go, you get this half. Oh. It's another deodorant. No, not the bees! Men's antiperspirant. Not the bees! Not the bees! It's the, the Wicker Man inspired deodorant. Yes. My good mythical morning. Oh, it smells like bees. Are there bees in there? Oh, crank it up, I'm being told. Oh, there's a hidden message. Look at that. It's got, <laughs> it's got bees in it. Fake bees. Fake bees and deodorant. Congratulations to you, Link. What? Congratulations to you, Rhett. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Shannon. I'm Jeff. And we're here at Disneyland. In front of the Haunted Mansion. And it's time to spin the, the Wheel, Wheel of Mythicality. Go get that corn now. Get them. Click the bottom link to watch this episode from the beginning. And click the top link to watch us try to match the deodorant to the mythical crew member who uses it. And good mythical mom. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Smell like a Nick Cage movie sounds. Awesome. Get our mythical number nine fragrance at mythical.store.